Hey guys, it's your Rooted Educator and Juliet here, and today I'm going to show you all a fun activity that you can do at home with some ingredients that you might be able to find in your own kitchen. Okay, let's get started. Today we're going to be making baking soda paint. Now this recipe calls for equal parts of baking soda and water to be mixed together in a cup or a jar or whatever you have. For our purposes, I'm doing two tablespoons of baking soda and two of water. And with the magic of video editing, we are going to speed things up here. I don't care for not to spill. For my painting, I just need three colors, but you can obviously do this with as many different kind of colors as you want. Now for our last scoop of big Yoda, and we are ready to move on to water. Again, we're just using two tablespoons of water for this recipe. Like I said, it's equal parts, two tablespoons of baking soda, and two of water. And we're just going to pour these right into the cups as well. And like magic, we are going to speed things up and get all our cups filled. And once we're done with that, we are going to take a small whisk or spoon or fork or whatever you guys have and really mix the baking soda together with the water well. We want to make sure the baking soda is dissolved as much as possible in the cups and there's no clumps sticking to the bottom of the cups. This is pretty simple and should only take a couple seconds. And once we're done, we're going to be moving on to adding some color to our baking soda paint. Feel free to grab that food color and open it up and oh, yeah, there we go. And decide what kind of colors you're going to need for your project. For me, I had second thoughts and I decided to do some red, some yellow, and some kind of orange pinky color. I'm actually going to be painting a sun today. I found it really helpful to have a blueprint of the painting I wanted to make. So I was able to pick the colors and the amount of colors that I wanted to use. Feel free to obviously use as many drops as you need. Just remember, the more drops you put, the darker the color's gonna be. Now that we're done, it's time to mix it up really, really well. I found at this point that the baking soda really stuck to the bottom of the cups. This part of the process is gonna take a little second. I abandoned the top of the whiskey and I'm just using the handle. I found that that was easier to mix all the ingredients together, but it started to really clump. So you wanna make sure that you just take some time and mix it really, really well. Don't want any clumps. You guys might be thinking, hey, this is kind of watery, but don't worry. We're actually looking for a watercolor kind of consistency. Once we're done, it's time to move on to the fun part of painting. And every great work of art starts with a blank canvas. Here I've got mine. I've got actually several sheets of paper under the one on top here. Uh, we're working with watercolors here, so this might be a good idea for you guys at home to make sure you have several sheets of paper just so that the water doesn't bleed through and get on the table or whatever surface you're working on. As you guys are painting, you're gonna wanna make sure to scoop the baking soda from the bottom of the cups and spread that all over your canvas. You're going to want to clean your brush in between colors, and oh, I don't have any water. Hold on. Magic. Okay, now that we have some water, we can move on to color number two. Like I said before, it's been a little bit gray where I live, so I'm going to brighten things up and paint a sun. And here's a pro tip for you guys. Try not to use a fine hair paintbrush, because the finer the hair, the harder it is to mix up the baking soda and I kind of ruined my paintbrush during this project. But that's okay, there's a learning curve for everything and this was still coming out pretty good. And just a reminder, remember to have several sheets of paper under your top sheet because the water does tend to bleed through a little bit. When you're done, you're gonna wanna grab your vinegar and pipette or spoon and, oh, I forgot vinegar. Hold on. As I was saying, you guys are gonna want some vinegar to complete this project. Feel free to just take some and start sprinkling it all over your painting and watch the awesome effect that happens. Now for a little science. When you first mix baking soda and vinegar together, two chemicals are formed. These two chemicals are called carbonic acid and sodium acetate. 
Now the carbonic acid is really the star of the show here, as it melts into water and forms carbon dioxide gas. Now you guys have seen carbon dioxide gas. Those are the little gas bubbles that rise to the top of a soda pop bottle. And they're pretty powerful. You guys know what happens when you shake a soda bottle too hard. Well, that's the same reaction that's happening here. Those are the little white bubbles that you see in my painting. This was a super fun activity to make and I had a blast with this painting. I hope you guys are able to try it out at home. Thanks so much for watching, have fun, and remember to keep learning. I will see you guys next time.